Some time ago, I read a story of a king who wanted to give his daughter in marriage. But there was a condition, and that condition was the man who would marry the king's daughter must be willing to jump into a swimming pool filled with crocodiles. If you are courageous enough to jump into a pool filled with crocodiles and you're strong enough to swim through the pool alive, then the king will trust you're a man and you can take care of the princess. The day to choose a husband for the princess came. All the men in the village gathered around the crocodile pool. Each one of them was willing to marry the king's daughter. But looking at the crocodiles in the pool seemed like they were staring at their graveyard. As they all envisioned the glory attached to being the king's in-law and the death right in front of them, one of the men mistakenly fell into the pool. Whoops! It's too late to think. The guy fought with every strength he could gather and swam as fast as he could. Behold, James got to the other side of the pool without an injury. Breathing like Usain Bolt after a running competition, the king announced to the thousands of spectators, You see, everything you see in the pool is toy crocodile, which only moves around. Wow, there was never a single crocodile in the pool, only toys to scare the cowards. I tell you, dear friends, often these princes are our dream, and that pool is the road that leads to our vision. Those crocodiles are the fears that keep us from daring our ambitions. Yes, they often seem real, but for those who are courageous enough to face them, they are usually crocodile toys. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the three common fears most people have, which is the reason why they are poverty-stricken. And I'll try and suggest how you can overcome those fears. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other exciting videos like this. 1. Fear of Failure I spent my first 17 years battling with rheumatism as a sickly child. So when I became an adult and heard people telling me to be careful so that I won't destroy my life trying to build a business, I laughed. I laughed because I know what death looks like, or at least I've smelt it several times. Till today, I can still remember how everyone in my family was worried that I would crush my life. My elder brother often warns me not to come back to him after I destroy myself. No, I wasn't fearless. I just moved on anyway. You see, that's an important thing you should think about. Nobody is without fear. Even the bravest of soldiers and the craziest of heavyweight champions still have fear. Fear is natural for every living being. The difference between those who marry the princess and the spectators is the courage to jump in to the crocodile pool. When people warned me that I could destroy my life because I stopped schooling, I knew they were right. When they told me to have a plan B, I knew they were reasonable. When my brother warned me that I could crash myself, I knew he was right. But regardless of what fear I felt, I knew that if I didn't jump into the crocodile pool, I couldn't marry the princess. There are no two ways to overcome the fear of failure than to fail. That's why Nike says, just do it. Just do it is the only single way to overcome the fear of failure. When you do it, you'll make mistakes and fail. If you do it again, you're likely going to make another mistake and fail. After a few failures, you start seeing the blessings that come with failure. Yes, you failed, but you've also learned and know what not to do the next time. If you continue in this process, at some point, you become unstoppable. No, your fear of failure will never go away, but you'll become so smart and confident that you know that you can overcome the next blow. 2. Fear of what people think of me I know a man who earns a little more money than the average man in my city, and because he makes a little more money than most, he is living in an affluent neighborhood. Millions of people like this are in the world, and the only single reason why they do what they do is fear of what others think about them. Take a look at the cars on the street of your city. Look at the beautiful houses and look at Instagram. Most of the things you see out there 
are not owned by the people who can afford them. These people want to look good because they want others to perceive them as being rich or having money. If you care too much about other people's opinions, you'll spend the money you don't have to impress the people who don't care about you and you'll be miserable. You can have it for free in the future. What I mean is this. Almost every luxury I have today are free because my assets bought them. I never bought expensive phones, shoes, watches or anything for most of my life. I used the cheapest things I could afford so much that at a point almost all my employees have something I didn't have. Today I got all my luxuries for free because my assets bought them. Your income is like a cup of water, while assets are like a stream of water. If you drink a cup of water, it's gone forever. But if you take a cup out of the stream of water, you've lost nothing because the stream is flowing. Don't drink that cup. Use it to build a stream. 3. Fear of selling One day around the year 2011, I went into the city I was living with the singular aim of talking to someone who could invest in my business. That was a crazy idea, you know? You want to jump on the street and convince strangers who don't know you to invest in your plan. But I did it. I can't remember most of my experience that day, but I remember the guy who agreed to support me. I jumped into his office and politely asked for his time. I pitched him about my idea and asked him to support me. The young man looked at me and said, well, someone helped Mark Zuckerberg to build Facebook. Since I don't know what your idea can turn into, I'm going to help you anyway. Today I hear people say, nobody is willing to help you. Everybody is stingy. Most rich people are greedy. Well, you're not getting help because you're not asking enough people, because you're afraid of rejection. Yes, most people won't care, but someone will and that is the only person you sometimes need. Those who become rich are not afraid of selling. The wealthy sell every day. They sell their product, services or even their ideas. They pitched and asked for help. Yes, most times they get rejected but they do know and believe that someone somewhere is waiting for them and if they could endure enough rejection, they'll get the yes they need. The summary of this video is your dream is like the king's daughter. You dearly want to marry her, but therein lies the crocodile pool you must go through. These crocodiles are your fears. The fear of failure. The fear of what people say. The fear of rejection. The good news is that the crocodiles in the pool are lifeless. If only you are courageous to jump into the pool, you come out from the other side as the in-law of the king. If this video makes sense to you, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We love you.